The North American XP-70 Valkyrie was an American nuclear bomber capable of speeds of Mach 3. The aircraft was known for its impressive design and speed, but on a particular dark day, disaster struck and changed aviation forever. On the 8th of June 1966, an XP-70 took off from Edwards Air Force Base, flown by test pilots A.L. White and Major Carl S. Cross for a number of tests on the aircraft. After the tests were completed, the aircraft then met up with four other aircraft, which included an F-5 Freedom Fighter, an F-4, T-38, F-104 and Starfighter, and including a Learjet, which are all in formation. All of these aircraft were powered by General Electric engines, which the major air engine company thought was a great opportunity for photos for publicity. The Learjet in the formation carried photographers, which took photos of the aircraft in formation. It was a lovely day taking photos of aircraft, and the photos were excellent. The shoot lasted for 40 minutes and ended at 9.35 a.m. But when the formation started to separate, disaster struck. As the F-104 and Starfighter started to move away, it got way too close to the Valkyrie's right wingtip, which, which produces lots of strong vortices. These caught the F-104 in, making it flip and crash into the XB-70's vital tail surfaces. The pilot of the F-104, Joe Walker, was killed straight away, while the Valkyrie continued to fly in level flight for another intense 16 seconds. The aircraft then started to fall into an uncontrollable spin, which the pilots could not recover from. Ayla White took advantage of the aircraft's ejection seats, but the other, pilot Cross, did not escape, fell down with the aircraft till it hit the ground in a ball of flames. With only two XB-70s built, this one was one of them, AV-2, so it meant only one other survived. AV-1 was that aircraft, and after the crash, it was modified with more advanced brakes, ejection seats, and avionics, and flew with NASA until 4th of Feb 1969. US Air Force recognized the amount of problems the Valkyrie had, so it changed its way of thinking, putting its faith in ballistic missiles and penetration bombing.